One way I've described running with the exoskeletons is you imagine someone uh, was running behind you and holding little ropes that were attached to your heels and every time you pushed off the ground instead of having to do all the work someone else lifted your foot for you. It feels very springy and very bouncy compared to normal running. You know, anybody can go for a run, you just need to throw on a pair of shoes and head out the door. But a lot of people don't. Only 20% of Americans have gone for a jog in the last year. That's often because people don't feel very athletic or they don't perceive themselves to be very good at the activity. So we want to see if we could use our exoskeletons to make running easier and more fun, which might promote activity. The people who need to run for work or like first responders and anything that we can do to help like reduce the energy cost on activities like running, getting around, they can they then have more energy to do other more important things. A lot of the energy that we use in running is actually associated with pushing off the ground and the work that our calf muscles are doing. Taking over some of that work, the exoskeleton is able to give us really large reductions in energy cost. So our runners put on an exoskeleton on their ankle. So there's this carbon fiber frame that goes along their shank from just below their knee down to about their ankle joint. And then there's this metal lever that sticks out to the back of the ankle. It's connected to their shoe. And that lever has a rope that's connected through this long cable to big motors. And when the motors pull the rope, then that pulls up on the lever and it pushes the person's toes down. And that helps you to extend your ankle at the end of a running step. These are the largest improvements in energy economy that we've seen with any device used to assist running. We did see about a 15% improvement in energy cost over running in normal shoes. Speaking from experience, that feels really good. It feels much easier than normal running. Just being able to do that from a, a scientific perspective, I think is really exciting. You're probably not going to be able to use this for a qualifying time for the Boston Marathon, but it may allow you to keep up with your friends that are a little bit faster runners. For example, my younger brother ran the Boston, and uh, he, I would love to be able to keep pace with him. We imagine this could play a similar role as an electric assist bike. If you think of the first last mile problem, this can be a very useful tool. If people could like get off the bus and their shoes just snap up into an exoskeleton, that they can then use the cover that lasts one to two miles to work in like just a couple of minutes without breaking a sweat. Based on this research and the results that we obtained with the powered assistance, which appeared very helpful to users, it would be really cool if we could take some of that work and move it into the real world. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.